I'm Mark McAllister in Bracebridge, where, as you can see, the flooding continues at this hour and at this time. Basically, we've just watched everybody in the, the area we're in right now just finish the work for the day because they're working all day long to try and put things like this in. We've got sandbags. All this rock has recently been brought in throughout the afternoon. And if you look at this place beside me, this is the cottage we've told you about throughout the week that actually collapsed into the river. And what they're trying to do is just shore it up as much as they possibly can. Today has been a long day here in the Muskoka region. We've had a chance to speak to a number of people about the work that is being done and the military's involvement as well. It's a, a very resilient group out here. A lot of them don't exist necessarily on the sort of municipal uh, uh, works that we would in, say, Toronto area. Uh, they heat their own homes. They, they often have uh, stores of food and that sort of thing. Uh, so some of them, you know, were trying to hunker down, see if this was only a few days. And uh, uh, many of them got out on their own before things happened. But there are still a few people out there. And uh, we're seeing on a daily basis now the odd request here and there to get people out. It's also a day for politicians to make their voices heard. Today, Premier Doug Ford also made his way north from Queen's Park into cottage country, stopping at a convention to speak with a number of business owners before making his way here to Bracebridge to speak with local officials as well. There have been a number of occasions where they've spoken up here about the water management plan and how it's possibly affecting the flooded areas. And so Premier Doug Ford was asked those questions about whether something can in fact be done. And here's what his response was. We had a discussion today about putting a task force together, uh, sitting down, and not, not, not in a month, but immediately, to find out you know, how we can improve the system. The Mayor, uh, Mayor Harding, came, came up with some great ideas in our meeting today, and uh, we're going to sit down with a, a group and uh, see how we can, and a, a group of stakeholders that how we can come up with uh, better ways of controlling the, the water system because we can't be facing this. Obviously it's become resonating down at Queen's Park that we have issues here across Muskoka and what he basically said was the watershed is broken. What I do like is he's also agreed that the municipal stakeholders get a seat at the table and I think that is most important as we move this watershed forward and we start to evolve beyond 2006 data. So as the residents here in Bracebridge and elsewhere throughout the Muskoka region continue to work to try and mitigate some of the flooding that has taken place, in speaking with everybody, yes, they're hurt. They know that there's a lot of work ahead, but they're trying to obviously uh, get through this. And uh, we've had a couple of people joking with us throughout this entire ordeal as well. Obviously. You see a little bit of sun on my face. That's good news. There's not much rain going on up here, but I'm going to throw things over to Adam Stiles, who's going to tell you more.